Hey everybody, it's Ori from AstroWeb. Uh, this video is here to show you how to create with Google Calendar a simple Gantt chart. Um, so basically, uh, what we want to do is, for example, for a project management or for some kind of organization, you'd want to create a simple uh, chart uh, and timeline in order to show uh, what you're trying to do, right? So if some kind of process or some kind of project. Um, so there's a really simple tool you can use. I just want to show you it um, for for easy way to do things. Okay, um, so first thing we want to do is create some kind of a Google Calendar uh, uh, project, right? So let's just go here. I'm at Google Calendar. I uh, click here and I want to create a new calendar. So let's just call it um, for fun project. Okay, and uh, I'll just do all this stuff. Okay, so a uh, click on create. Okay, so now I have a new new uh, calendar itself, which is loading, uh, change of save for fun project right here highlighted. So now I'm going to create a few few uh, tasks or a few uh, entries, let's call it. Okay. <clears throat> so first thing I have to do is, um, okay, for fun is ask for a vacation. Okay. Let's say I uh, specify a date, let's say next Monday. Okay. Um, so I save this here. Now, after I do that, I'm going to buy some shorts uh, for a beach, okay? And let's save this as another date a few days later, okay? Uh, and then after that, I'm going to uh, take swimming lessons, okay? From, let's say, next Friday all the way till the Friday after that, okay? And then um, finish vacation, okay? And I guess, I don't know, typically the Gantt charts, of course, are for business, but for whatever reason, I just felt a, like doing this kind of more fun thing. Um, but of course, for business, we usually do like projects for, for web design. Uh, so a project planning, project design, design homepages on category, coding, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but whatever reason, my mind was on vacation right now. Okay, so finish vacation. Let's say finish vacation here. Okay, so I'm going to click on save. So now I have a rough, I'm going to change this to a month, a rough idea of uh, my plan. Okay, and now I'm going to go to a tool called Gantt chart. Gantt chart. Um, I'm not affiliated with this in any way, but this is just a quick tool to show you how to do it. So after you created your Google Calendar, uh, click here, log in with Google Calendar. Um, it'll load, and of course, uh, for first time, it would verify your account with Google. You have to authorize your Google account. Uh, go here, click on the project we created for fun, and the new window will open. Pretty simple. Um, basically, you have your Gantt, Gantt chart, right? So right here, um, you have all of it, the specific specs, the start date, the end date, and you have your, your uh, chart right here, basically. So obviously it's not filled out, you know, so nicely. But if you adjust the dates, you're good. Um, now, if you need to adjust this based on a weekly basis or monthly or etc., and anytime you want to make changes, you're going to have to go back to your Google Calendar, make changes, go back to the chart right here, and then just refresh, reload the project, and you're good to go. Um, that's basically it. So hope you enjoy this really simple video.